Jordy Walker, the founding guitarist of the British post-punk band Killing Joke, whose haunting, muscular riffs proved an inspiration to platinum-selling bands including Nirvana and Metallica, died on Sunday in Prague. He died at the age of 64 because it was a stroke, according to a statement the band posted on social media. With his icy good looks, rockabilly-esque pompadour, and vintage gold-top Gibson guitar, Mr. Walker helped define the look as well as the sound of Killing Joke during its peak in the 1980s and 90s. No man was cooler than Jordy, one of the very best and most influential guitarists ever. Youth, the band's original bassist, wrote in a recent Instagram post. He was like Lee Van Cleef meets Terry Thomas via Noel Coward. Mr. Walker's driving, multi-layered fretwork helped propel the dark through often danceable sound of a band that helped pioneer industrial music by blending heavy metal intensity, new wave hooks, and a punk taste for provocation. The cover of the band's 1992 compilation album, Laugh I Nearly Bought One, for example, featured a clergyman exchanging salutes with Nazi brown shirts. Despite its uncompromising approach, the band released five singles that reached the top 40 in Britain, like song Love Like Blood was their highest charting, reaching number 16 in 1985, as well as six top 40 albums. Killing Joke never found comparable commercial success in the United States, although its 1984 single, 80s, got plenty of play on alternative rock stations in that era. But the band with Mr. Walker's searing guitar work earned the respect of many artists, including, according to Rolling Stone, Trent Reznor, My Bloody Valentine, Faith No More, and LCD Sound System. Metallica put its own spin on Mr. Walker's ferocious guitar work on its 1987 cover of Killing Joke's 1980 song, The Weight. More famously, or infamously, Nirvana relied on an ominous riff so eerily similar to Mr. Walker's on 80s, for its landmark song, Come As You Are, that Killing Joke considered legal action. While the tension between the bands eventually subsided, Dave Grohl, the Foo Fighters frontman who had been Nirvana's drummer, played drums on the band's 2003 album, called simply Killing Joke. Mr. Walker was noticeably tart on the subject when interviewed by Guitarist Magazine in 1994. Kurt Cobain is a bloody good songwriter, he said, but a complete plagiarist.